this piece I did about 16 years ago, and there was a program called Meta Ball. Meta Ball, yes. And, and it's an old, it's, it doesn't even exist anymore. And when you put components together, you can then wrap them. So um, I pulled out some old files of Metaball and we put them on some new software and started playing with it. And my original idea of this for Vendôme actually was a cloud. So it was more like a lamp. Well, the one you did in the hotel, when you hang them up. Yeah, like that, right? So, so it was like that. And I, I thought, you know what? And we were looking at the prototype. It was sitting on the ground and we kind of sat on it. We realized, wow, it makes a great bench because you can find a different area to sit. And if right, you're a child, you sit a little lower, you sit a little higher, and it's actually kind of comfortable, strangely enough, you know? Yeah. So what I like is that kind of strange moment of, of friction where if you walked into a lobby uh -huh. of a hotel and it's just sitting there or out in a field in a park, you wouldn't really think it's a bench, it's a sculpture, but, but you'd still, probably try to sit on it, you know? Definitely, and a child. Yeah, versus this, which is all very practical furniture. Mm -hmm. I mean, this this is called Vertex, and it's really a play on Werner Panton, because I was sick and tired of press telling me that I'm like Werner Panton. <laughs> so <laughs> so I said, okay, here you go. I'm Here's gonna... Vertex for you. So it's very a Panton good. chair, but it's it's done with uh, uh, fastening much more, uh, and much yeah, more and much architectural edgy. and edgy, uh, yeah. This is your first collection? With them, yes. And it all happened so fast you cannot believe it. In eight months from all even production tooling, these are production now. Unbelievable Fantastic. how fast they were. That's amazing great. how passionate they were. And you know, when they when I talked to them, they were so passionate. This is interesting. When you meet a client uh -huh. and they're really, really excited, I get feel the excitement because I get really excited. Of course, then and you start. I walk away and I design 75 pieces of furniture. Uh -huh. And they were they were in shock. I can imagine. They in fact, to the point where they didn't know what to choose. You know what How I mean? come you're so productive? Is it this? I'm crazy. Is it because you fell in love and got married, or? Uh, <laughs> I only got married a year and a half ago. I've I been know. productive for 20 years. <laughs> no, no, but for this one, so quickly. Oh, for this one. Well, no, you know what it is. I think is is that uh, the way I work. Even though I have a lot of clients and a lot of projects, when I speak to a client, before I have the job, I'm sitting in a meeting and they're chatting. Mm -hmm. My mind races. And I, I realize that's the most creative time for me. It's not when I'm sketching, it's not at the computer, it's, it's the not when I'm sleeping, it's in the meeting. Because I'm hearing people talk, and when they're talking and they're ta we're talking about things, my mind moves. So if I walk out of the meeting, if I'm smart, I grab a sketchbook, I sit in my office, lock my door for an hour, and try to draw everything I just thought about. If I got another meeting right after, if I wait two, three days, I start to forget some of my, my ideas. So you know? really, it's the customer's uh, yeah, projection yeah. They're, towards. Yeah. It's almost like their their mandate, their criteria, their when they're talking, and something about when they talk, speaking about their history of their company, uh -huh. whatever it is, gets me so like you know excited. And for the client, it yeah. gets personal. Yeah, I mean, Fantastic. it's almost like um, you know uh, erotic uh, talking foreplay, where you gotta start getting you know you're ready for action. But the problem with that is that inevitably a lot of those meetings don't add up to a real job because they decide not to work with me or they have another reason or da da. So I've wasted a lot of you know Time I of my energy in yeah. my mind, you know, which is really like I get angry. Like a funny, a funny example is the other day I was asked to do for the MTV Awards, the uh -huh. trophy. Right? So we came in my office, we're talking about the trophy at the MTV Awards. All of a sudden in my mind, four ideas about the trophy. And I've always wanted to do this, an interactive trophy where when you're handed it and two people touch it, it lights up because you have to make oh, negative yeah. positive yeah, yeah, contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Something that was it's more, forget the static, because the world's not static anymore. No, 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 Something no. a little bit. Organic. I got all excited, uh, had all these ideas. I got on the computer. I actually started working right away. I was thinking I had the job. Three days later, I find for some reason they didn't send any money. They didn't sign the check. Yeah. And they, were, they don't want me. Uh, so I wasted all that. But, but it it's never done. really a waste. No, it's because never Because stand somewhere along the line, mm, another project comes. Mm. And this collection is kind of more cute and playful and more about my idea of the way I think the world should be, which is softer. Softer and you know, colorful and happy. and happy and all that. Um, this little table is cute because if you put two together, you can hide everything oh, yes. in the middle. Uh -huh. But it, you also flip it and it's a stool. So it works as a stool too. That's and, you can, and you can put a plate of prosciutto on it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> The prosciutto looks so out of context with plastic. I don't know why. I don't know either. Uh, it becomes plastic. Yeah. And, uh, and then this collection is much more of just fun, bouncy, roundy, you know. And I, what I did is, I this is, a, this is the same object, so that has a hole yeah, in it that way for storage, oh, yeah. or you make it a planter. That's good. Um, yeah, and it was, uh, and, and I, this is really, basically, I tried to do something really, really comfortable. The, you know, the icon of this kind of outdoor chair, in fact, one of the icons, I think, was the stark bubble uh, for cartel, you know. Cartel. 
and it was very much of a, how can I say derivative of our um, of a, uh, what's it called of the Belle Epoque sofa uh, the shape the shapes of it you know and and not many people have really replaced that in a way nobody's really quite a, quite done the thing to you know go to the, so I, I want to do something that doesn't speak about a period or a time away from just it. something very like on one hand it's very simple on the other hand it's just something contoured about it that it I think it would fit into the landscape nicely into and also it's a the garden bit baroque and, over it. You think it's a bit Baroque? Oh, I think yeah, the yeah. brown feelings and the heaviness. Yeah, maybe, heaviness. maybe, maybe. I mean, I hate Baroque, but thank you. I, <laughs> um, I hate anything that's really nostalgic, honestly. I'm just okay. not interested. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, because the world is so beautiful now. You know, I, 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 just, I just can't help but think. You know, I have 5,000 friends on Facebook. I've met 3,200 of them. Can you imagine ah. this? And I think the world is connected and shrinking and shrinking. And I'm working in 39 countries. I visit 116. I'm like, I realize that there's something really beautiful about human culture now. This is a time we live in now. So when I design somehow and do something static uh, or inanimate, I want to somehow speak From now. about now. You know? And I think it's kind of fascinating. If I have an iPad now or you know, an old, I have a phone that has... Um, I mean, an iPod that has 160 gigabytes of music, and I love music, and I DJ and all that. I, that when I play all these electronic sounds, I kind of want to capture all that, the data in our spaces, uh -huh. all this stuff in, in physical work. And it's, you know, it's a hard thing to do in a way, because one could argue so much form has been done. So you need to go beyond the form. I think it needs to be something about the, somehow about our day we live in now, a kind of our casual experiences, our... You know, the nice thing about doing work with the Von Dahm and in plastic in general, even though, you know, plastic has a bad rap now, is that it's accessible and inexpensive, mm -hmm. you know? And that's, a, you know, like this, this couch is, you know, going to be, of course, one-fifth the price of a typical couch, you which know? Which is fantastic. Which is because, and yeah. it's super lightweight. Yeah. It's, you know, and you can throw it around, and mm -hmm. really, in a sense, and it's 100% recyclable. I mean, which it's, is important. Which is important. So we can just grind it up, you know, and grind it up and make something else mm -hmm. out of it. That's the nice thing about polyethylene. It's all 100% recyclable. It's just like PET yeah. and water bottles. If, if, if the infrastructure is there to recycle it, which is which another is problem. Important.